Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. I am now back with some more Zombie Side Undead or Alive Brawlers. This is Henry, who's primed in White Scar, because again, we're going to be painting him with Citadel Contrast Paint. And we're starting off with a little bit of dark old flesh on his face, his hands. Uh, just got to be careful, because on his hands, he has some wrappings on it. There's some on his two fingers on his right hand, and there's one around his entire uh, palm or whatever on his left hand. Then I used some Agrax Earth Shade on like the shirt part, and for some reason it was this weird little paint stuff. I don't know even know what it was. I think it might have been dried paint that dropped into the bottle or something, and it looked like little bugs crawl around him. Anyways, I got him off of there finally. So the space wool's gray. Now we're gonna be using this on his pants. Beautiful like jean color, which is really cool. Uh, I, yeah, I, I you know contrast paints over the white scar is great. And for some reason, this one didn't get as like cartoony looking or as like uh, as Casey did. I found that Casey's contrast paint was drawing really weird. Anyways, it was like I don't know, chalky looking. This one is looking out really good. So I don't know if there was something different I did or what. But anyways, we're using a little bit of uh, Blood Angels Red now for uh, his shirt, and we're also gonna put this on the patch on his jeans there because uh, that's what it is in the artwork anyway, so I want to be as true as I can to the artwork, especially when I'm painting miniatures from a board game. I like trying to stick to the artwork. I am, uh, also, if you've noticed, I've been using a different angle today uh, in this video. I don't know if you guys like this a uh, bit more. It goes a little bit more um, off focus a bit sometimes. Or Anyway, some Saigor Brown now for the boots. And moving on to some Velopis Pink. Now, this is just for these little like the cuffs or whatever of the inside of his coat, I guess, that like are rolled up and it does this like pinkish color. Uh, some Ayendin yellow for his scarf. Uh, I don't know if it's because of my background, it's trying to focus on that card instead, uh, instead of the miniature. It's, it's weird, it goes out of focus. I'm sorry about that. I thought it was gonna be a little bit better than that. Hopefully it gets a bit better. Got a Gak sewer now for his big backpack that he's got on his back, <laughs> or I guess satchel or whatever you want to call this thing. Gadagak Sewer is an amazing brown, by the way. Uh, it does a great job for leathers and stuff. It kind of competes with the snake bite leather. I find it looks amazing. Um, yeah, and it covers up the white scar super perfectly anyways. All right, now we're going to move on to uh, another color right now. Another contrast paint, of course. And this is going to be snake bite leather. No, speaking of the devil. Uh, we're putting this like on the... There's a, he has like a shotgun that's poking out of his satchel there. We're going to put this on the hilt of his pickaxe. We also put it on that little satchel he had on the front there. It looks almost like a, a water skin or something. I'm not even sure what it is. We're also going to do his wonderful hat with this. And as I really dab it on, it really gives this an old timer look, you know, like really a Wild West look. And that's a, it's just amazing. Military green now for that uh, bedroll of his that he's got on his back there. Uh, beautiful green color again. This makes it look almost realistic. Apothecary white now for his beard, his hair, and those bandages I was talking about on his hands a while ago. As you see, the focus seems to be a little bit better now on the camera. Again, if you guys like this, uh, comment down below if you like this view or if you like my regular top-down view. Lead Belcher now. We're going to be putting this on his cup, his pan, uh, the uh, pickaxe, of course. Uh, everything that's metal. I'm not even going to shade it because I didn't put it on very thick, so it has like a nice little effect on its own already. And it does a great job covering up that white scar as well. Anyways, if you are enjoying these videos, please hit that like button. And of course, if you're new to the channel, which most of you are, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to watch through the entire videos. Uh, Alright, so there you go. Henry is painted and ready to fight the Dead West Zombies. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.